week. Yeah. What a week. That Boy, I was just up. watching the intro there and uh, how times have changed, huh? In a <laughs> year's time. They have. They have. They, uh, we uh, we got to get around to that. It's been a busy week since we got back from our trip, um, but we will be getting around to that. I'm going to work on it. Uh, probably work on it tomorrow a little bit, um, and then maybe Saturday, knock it out, not finish the rest of it, send it to you, tell me what you think, and we'll see. Some cool pictures, some intro differences. Yeah. Better songs. Ooh. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Pay close attention to the uh, Mighty Mix gym. In the in the intro, it's all boarded up. Yep, yep. Not so much anymore. No, nope, very different now. So uh, let's see here. So obviously, as everybody knows, we have our Rocky Run shirts on here, and uh, we went to Philly this past weekend. Um, another whirlwind trip that we've had, which yeah. was good, and. Uh, I guess let's just kick it off. We got a lot to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do. So, uh, but I came home with one more souvenir than you did, though. You did? What'd you get? <laughs> this wonderful cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's not feeling well, so he has to go off camera, kind of like. Yeah. Know, just, uh, it's okay. You won't get cooties. Ex excuse my coughing. So I got in Thursday night. Um, so we had all day Friday, all day Saturday, and half a Sunday to to do our our mission, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's a good Let's word see. for it. We got a lot of pictures. This is our driving up to our hotel. Man, that was that's just an amazing picture. Just wow, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we started off bright and early the next day. We got in, I got in, like I said, uh, 9 30 ish, I think, on Thursday. Yeah, it's about that. It about and that. then Friday, we got up at the crack of dawn, had some coffee, and hit the road so we can get out there before all the zombies show up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which was partially accomplished. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Mostly accomplished. Yeah. So we got to 18 18 first. There we are, there, right in front of it. They said somebody lives there, but I didn't see it here or see any movement or anything from there. But no, no, I didn't either. But I'm sure that they're pretty much uh, accustomed to company by now. Oh God, yeah. I mean, that's that's got to be that's got to be top three locations. Yeah, you know, I mean, the uh, counting the statue and the steps has one. Right. Uh, I, yeah. I would think you know, statue steps one, Mickey's two. And I would think that would be the third one. I would think so. Welcome or unwelcomed, they got to have their. They probably have a lot of company. Yeah, as long as everybody respects them, you know, and doesn't doesn't hassle them, you know. It's right, like, right. Well, they're uh, for those of you who don't know, they're building. They're actually putting up a brand new building or something. Yes. Right adjacent to the the apartment, right adjacent yeah. to eighteen eighteen. So who knows? Maybe they're trying to redevelop the area. Yeah, you know, maybe clean it up a little bit. We'll talk more about that later. We have some stuff that was cleaned up and looking nice. Could so we did take a little comparison picture here. And the picture up top is is the picture that we took. Yep. That's the picture below where Rocky goes and asks Mickey to manage him. And you can see not much hasn't changed. I don't have the, the exact angle, but you get the you get the idea. And uh, what did we say the walk was from 1818 to the corner was 30 seconds, 15 yeah, seconds? If that, yeah. I mean, it was quick. It was definitely less than a minute. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not the safest of areas. Um, so if you're hesitant or, or nervous or if you have little ones, yeah, uh, be careful. Maybe reconsider. Maybe just drive through it. Doors locked. <laughs> Take a picture. Yeah. Um, that block itself, uh, we didn't have any issues on. We didn't have any problems with anybody. Uh, as we were driving away, we got to see some of the less uh, – less people Desire, that, desirable you know. yeah yeah it was it was pretty rough so uh but anyway so rick and i walked to the corner because that's where frank was singing take you back and that's the corner there and they have a nice new mural on that building at the corner yeah just recently painted yeah actually. yeah it would have been cool if they kind of incorporated frank singing take you back yeah but what a beautiful <clears throat> job they did on that. Oh, it's fantastic. 
seen in person. It's big, it's bold, it's bright colors. It's yeah, it's awesome. Very, very cool. I wonder who commissioned that. You know what? I never did find that out. Yeah, I don't know either. I didn't see uh, any name up there. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So then from there, we kind of uh, we, we went around a little bit on some places that were um, we couldn't really get out of the car, not because of safety issues, because it was just not really feasible to get out, park the car, first of all. Yeah, there was. Get out and go up there. I mean, one of them happens to be uh, this one here, the apartment where they buy in Rocky Two. The top picture is our picture. The bottom picture is obviously the movie. Yep. And you can see it really hasn't changed at all, except for that black gated door in front of the apartment door. But there was people sitting on their porches. There was no parking at all. Um, not, not. I wouldn't say that was an unsafe area at all. No, but like you said, you know, there were people on their porches, and we wanted to respect their privacy. Exactly. I mean, you know. I mean, if we found the parking space quickly, you know, might have said something to them. Hey, guys, would you mind? Yeah. And, and see what they say. But between not finding the space and then being there, I was like, eh, let's uh, let's head yeah. out of here. Parking is very, folks, <sighs> parking is not the easiest thing in Philadelphia. Oh, Lord. And let me tell you something. Pull your mirrors in when you're driving down the roads. <laughs> a couple of times we got lucky, you know, when we went out, when we, when we went out after the run, we got lucky, got a, pay, a right, literally right at, you walk out the door and it's right there to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the gods were smiling. Pats, the Rocky gods were smiling on us. Yep. And Pats, we got lucky right in front of the building. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really take a picture of Pats. We just kind of put up there on how we, 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 <laughs> We plastered Philly with the round 14 stickers. There's several of them at Pat's and um, not on the statue, of course, but like the, the lamps and the street signs that are at yeah. the street level in front of the statue. Um, yeah, we kind of put them all over where we we saw fit. We didn't put them obviously on anything that was no uh, disrespectful. So that was that. And then we saw after the uh, Rocky Two house, we saw... Paulie and Adrian's house. Now that one looks the most different than any of the other ones we saw. Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, it's uh it's very different. Very different indeed. Uh, but that's where it was. And again, not a not, not a bad area. No. Nightmare, no. nightmare to park. Oh, and then we went to mix. Where if you take a look at Mickey's behind us, there's doors. Yeah. There's windows all along the side. You can see in the background there. Uh, so it's looking nice and clean and looking better. That's what I was uh, pointing out was like in our intro. That was all boarded up, you know. Yeah. And now you look at that. It's like, wow. Yeah. We're and getting we'll, somewhere. We'll, we'll, yep. Yeah. And we'll come back to that. Obviously, I'm sure that. Anybody that follows us knows a lot about what is already going on with that place, but we'll chat about that in a moment. Mm -hmm. And then we went to see Paulie and Adrian <laughs> Cemetery. <laughs> Rick likes to have whiskey at nine o'clock in the morning. Ooh, that was a bit rough. That yeah, was the, more than a bit. <laughs> yeah, but we just had a taste, just to yeah. <laughs> just to wet the tonsils with for Polly. You know, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So that was there. Uh, and then we're jumping around a little out of order from where we actually went. But this was the day. This was before uh, we went to Adrian's for dinner. We, of course, went to the steps. Mm -hmm. Took our picture there. Went to the Philadelphia Visitor Center where they have their own Rocky statue. Yeah, that's a great one. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I almost said, "Wow, look, they got they got a poster." <laughs> Your poster behind you, alone uh, in the ring. The poster that's behind you right now, alone in the ring, over here. Uh, yeah, that side. Yeah. Well, if I put up, if I put up the the statue picture that we just showed, uh huh. It kind of looked like if you glance quickly, it looks like that poster's in the. Picture. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, "What the? I didn't see that there." <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting old. Nah. <clears throat> and then this, I didn't see this last year. I would, I think it's very hard to believe that we would have missed 
you know, a 10 foot yellow. Yo. yo. <laughs> yeah. So, but maybe we did regardless. Maybe. It's there. It was cool. Yeah, definitely. Very cool. And right in this area here, the yo is in front of this building. We're going to show you now. And the uh, Rocky statue that's inside is in the building across the street from here. And this is uh, Independence Hall, a park. And this is the bench that Rocky jumps over when the kids are following him. A little cool uh, location thing. It's a real pretty park, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, the Liberty Bell is there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Liberty Bell's there. Independence Hall's there. And like I said, in, uh, the Visitor Center is there. And they have a ton of Rocky stuff and Philly stuff and, of course, bathrooms and whatnot if you happen to need those while you're wandering around the city. Right. Uh, let's see, we got a little comparison picture of uh, us and Rocky. Isn't it weird on how, like, that's a picture that is you and I? You're right. We're, see, I mean, we're almost the same spot where Sly is. Well, look we're out. basically in the same spot, you know. Yeah, I mean, you look at, you look at the, the, the triangle where his shoes imprints are, and mm -hmm. you see the triangle where it is between us. But my point is, look at the fountain that's across the street by the park. Yeah. Like, look how small it is in our picture, and look how big it is in that picture. And it's yeah. like, it didn't change. No, so you're I right. How, I wonder how they did that. Yeah. You ever see, like, you ever see how they zoom in a photo? You ever see how they zoom uh, the background out, but the front comes in or something? Yeah. Or vice versa, the background comes in, and then you go, I don't know, but it's got to be something that. We're not nearly talented enough to pull off. Way above our pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> and then we finally, last year, we looked all over for this location because it's not, it doesn't have a, it doesn't really have a landmark uh, to find it, but we do know how to find it now. Yeah. But this one here, there's the, oh. uh, obviously the top's ours, bottom's the movie. Really doubt I need to tell you that. Um, yeah, we had Sly with us dressed as Rocky. He's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to find this location, go on Kelly Drive past the steps. When you see a lighthouse on the left-hand side, go to the next parking lot, and it's under that bridge. Yeah. It is a beautiful area. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Very it cool. Awesome. It was very relaxing. and beautiful. There was a ton of people running. Yep. Yeah, it was very cool. And then after all of that, we went back to the hotel to freshen up from our wandering the streets of Philadelphia. We went to our favorite Adrian's. Oh, yeah. A.K.A. Victor Cafe. Right there. We had Iris again. Iris again. It was our, uh, that, was our, that was our table this time. Last time we were right under the painting. Yep. This time we're right next to it. And boy, they can sing. All of them can. They're just amazing. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Very good. Yeah. I, Iris, like I said, last year was our server. And she was so wonderful. And it just pure chance we got her again this year. And I'm like, oh, yeah. my God, it's Iris. No, it's absolutely pure chance. I mean, uh, we we got the pleasure of talking to Greg Stefano, uh, who's the owner. Yeah. And he was saying that Iris is his longest employee. Is yep. his longest ten tenured employee, Amazing. so I don't know. If she gets that back section always because it's by the Rocky painting, probably the most busiest. Yeah, um, we'll find out next year when we go next year. Yeah, <laughs> if we well, have a table back there and she's there again, then that's her section. The woman's got some pipes. Let me tell you, oh, she can sing. Oh man, she can sing. Yeah, but I tell you, uh, guys, you could choose whatever you want to eat. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. I yeah, bring it. Bring a wheelbarrow because you'll have to be rolled back to your room because <laughs> they do not skip on the portions we, either. We almost did have to be rolled back to our room. Mm -hmm. It was brutal walking back. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a, it was a 35 minute walk. Yeah, it was 35 minute, but the, the food is just amazing, you know? Everything about the place. I mean, the atmosphere, you know, of course, the, the, you know, the, you go upstairs to the lounge, you have a nice drink, you sit on the chairs, mm -hmm. and they have all the, you know, all of this stuff here. I can't, obviously didn't show it all, but they got pictures, Rocky posters, Rocky pictures. They have the painting upstairs, big yeah. couch and all. You know, well, we got to see Vincent and um, Trish. Uh, Trish, thank you. Yep. Uh, see, as you can see, all the background stuff there. 
Yeah. They happened to be there at the same time. Their reservation was almost the same time as ours. Yeah, we so had to have some drinks upstairs with them. And then uh, Joe and his wife showed up a bit later. Joe Sisko and yeah. his wife. Yeah, we didn't get his wife in the picture, but Joe took a, wanted to take a picture with us over by the, the downstairs painting. Joey. Yeah. So we did. <laughs> so we did. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, come on. If you're going to go on the Philly trip and you're going to do it and you're going to go to locations, you know, I mean, you're going to do it right. I mean, you got to see all this stuff. And yeah, absolutely. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing I like about it, though, is that <clears throat> my takeaway from it is how good the food is. You know, it's it'd be one thing, like, if – all right, look, here's the bottom line with Pat's cheesesteaks. I love Pat's cheesesteaks. I do. But I started going there because of Rocky, and I do like them. Are there better cheesesteaks in Philly that Philadelphians would probably say are 10 times better? Probably. And that's no disrespect to Pat's. But probably. But the bottom line is I'm going to Pat's to have my cheesesteak when I go yeah, to Philly. Right. That's it. Well, does a, I heard that a regular, a re, like a, I don't want to say, a real uh, Philly cheesesteak has French fries in it. I've heard that before, but I don't know if it's to be true. Not that I'm aware of. If any of you are from Philly or know the answer to that, yeah, type it drop in. us a line. Drop, drop us a note. But I was I was a little busy trying to download something. I wanted to show you the, the dish that Rick and I had. Mm -hmm. Linguini frutta di mare. And it has calamari. It has uh, shrimp, scallops, clams, mussels, nice red sauce. Mm -hmm. The bowl is about as big as our heads. Yeah. And, of course, the two loaves of bread we ate with it didn't, <laughs> didn't yeah. help. I absolutely need to get in shape and lose weight before next year's trip so that when that happens, oh. I, I don't do so much damage. No doubt. And next year, do not let me get a salad before the meal. No, I know. Do not let me do it. All right? That dessert book, dessert menu and dessert descriptions, I got to have dessert. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So Rick and I waddled back to the hotel at that point. Not even room for a bellyache. <laughs> oh no! Well, we had to get up at three o'clock. Oh yeah, three a.m. came early. Yeah, we had to get up at three o'clock to be at the Rocky Run at four o'clock. Well, a certain person said you should be there by four a.m. <laughs> So a certain person shows well, up around five. Yeah, well, say, he did say he did say. I told you to come at four. <laughs> yeah, he did say. I told but you. Yeah, to in future reference, we did see that we probably could have got there at five and been fine. You know, by the time we set up and everything, it would have been six, and people started rolling in at that time, six yeah. o'clock in the morning, and um, then the first race goes off at seven. I forgot to back. I forgot something. I apologize to backtrack a little bit here. Uh, there's a uh, an area where you go to pick up your your shirt and your bib. The race got so big that they had to use the uh, river casino, which is uh, the opposite side of where the steps are. Yeah. So you go there. John's got everything that he sells set up there, and then of course you go in and get your bib and your uh, your shirt. They also have other Rocky Run merchandise, which was really cool. They had a lot of cool stuff. They really did. And they had it set up. It, it it had the same flavor as Rocky Three when he was training. Yeah, in, yeah, uh, yeah. In the, <laughs> in the, you know, in in the what casino there or whatever yeah. it was. You know. Yeah. No, it you're right. It was same, cool. Like with the yellow and black balloons. Yeah. And, you know, it yep. just it just reminded me so much of Rocky Three. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. So then after that, there, there's uh, Mr. Riverly that we're talking about. He was set up next to us. We had the pleasure of having him set up next to us, so that was mm -hmm. cool. Good company yeah. all day. Oh, yeah. And Lucy. Let's not forget Lucy. Let's not forget Lucy. Um, so let's see. what else. So they started rolling in. You know, you got your your Paulie who's walking around with a bottle of whiskey and a turkey leg. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what, was, what we got here? Oh, Vince Papali. Vince, yeah. Philadelphia Eagles legend. He uh, had a movie made about him, Invincible, yes. played played by Mark Wahlberg. Yes. And we may or may not be having Mr. Vince Papali on the show. Yes. So we'll have to uh, keep your fingers crossed and see what, what the deal is with that. I'd love to hear his, you know, hear his, I've seen it on, you know, I've seen the movie. I'd love to hear his uh, take on it as well. And 
Yeah. Seems like a very interesting guy. Super nice guy. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a very nice guy. Yeah. Um, and then we had our table all set up. There. That bad. Remember when we first saw the banner? How like taken back we were. <laughs> I know. We were like, what? This is like, look at that. How great is that? We got all of our merch set up. We could have, uh, we could, we know the difference now for next year. We got some more coming of some certain things and stuff. So it's yeah. Gonna be, well, it's gonna this be year, the learning curve was 360 degrees. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. No doubt. But like you said, we got to meet a lot of people. We got to uh, see Sean and Olivia, um, box, uh, young lady that's a boxer. We yeah. got, to, we did not get a picture with her, them, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we were kind of busy. Know, we showed up because they're so great. I know. We well, there was a couple people we didn't that asked about pictures, and we didn't do it. We I, we were just busy. We had so many people at the front of the tent. I know it was just tough to get to. Sean and uh, McFadden and Olivia, and then there was uh, Miss Nancy, who is came all the way from Canada. Uh, we did we got to see her, but we didn't get a picture with her either. This wow. young man, our, <laughs> our buddy Claudio. Claudio, he came from Canada as well, and. Uh, but we did get to see him. He's so, yeah. He cracks me up. He's so funny. He's a great – him and his cousin, great guys. Great guy, great guy. And then, of course, we saw Trisha again and Vincent, yep. and we also saw Tony uh, at, at the run. Tony Tornado. Uh, yeah, so we got one of the pictures there, so that was kind of cool. It was it was a sight to be seen. It was really, really cool. I'm glad, yeah. so glad we did it. They, like, you know, the people start rolling in at, you know, 6 o'clock, 5.30 maybe, but 6 o'clock. Yeah. And you start seeing, you know, a lot of gray sweatsuits with the black knit hat. You know, and then you see a couple different ones, like Paulie. I mm-hmm. saw an Adrian. I saw one. Oh, did you? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get much of a chance to really wander. I just, yeah, she had the black suit on with the red hat. Okay. Um, it, that's just it. It was so hard to do what we were trying to accomplish. Like, we, it would, it would almost be beneficial to have somebody run the stand and we could just wander around and video. Yeah. You know, but it's uh, it's tough. It was we had so many people there, and then when it did die out, which is a good thing to have with so many people, but then when it did die out, you know, we uh, we kind of like had to regroup and fix the table and freshen up and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to go over here, and then you're over there for two seconds, and I'm like, Rick, yeah, <laughs> I know. come back. <laughs> I know. I was, I that's when I saw Vince Papali. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to go talk to him and see if I, you know, get him to come on the show, and then you're like. <laughs> you need to come back now. There's so many like, people that came out of nowhere. I'm like, where'd you people come from? I know. And like I said, it's a good thing. We had a lot of people that didn't know about it, a lot of people that did, uh, asking what the podcast is about, where they can watch it. Yeah. Um, you know, the merchandise we're selling, we're selling Round 14 hats, Round 14 t shirts, um, selling some street signs and some, and not just Round 14, Rocky as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was cool. It was a great experience. I'm really glad we did it. And uh, it was a long day. It was a long day. We were up at three. We were there at four. We left there at about one. Yeah, that's approximately. It. That's yeah. Okay. About one o'clock. Well, after well, yeah, it would have been quicker, but some uh, some bozo got stuck, lost in traffic, trying to get back. <laughs> All right, let me, let me elaborate on that for, for, for the viewing audience. <laughs> So we were lucky enough. We were go- we were originally going to walk from the hotel to the the circle in front of the steps, because all of our merchandise was already there. But it was a forty five minute walk. It was three o'clock in the morning, and it was pretty cold. So we were like, okay, let's just drive until they stop us, and then we'll park and walk, which yeah. we did. And we got this Absolutely. fantastic parking space. It literally took three minutes to walk to our tent. So at the end of the day, yeah, we're packing. No up. doubt. We're starting to pack up stuff, put it by. I said, well, listen, why don't you walk, get the car, pull it up over here. I'll I'll finish packing. And then by the time you get here, we can just load her up, get out of here. And then it's like 10 minutes, and 15 minutes, and then 25 minutes. And then I'm talking to John. John's there with his car. I'm like, how'd you get here? He's like, well, I was right around the corner. I'm like, well, so are we. I'm like, what, yep. what is Rick? He's MIA. So I call him, and he's like, I, they're, they're directing me this way, directing me that way. Rick's been coming to Philadelphia, and he's giving fingers to everybody. He's I know. <laughs> I'm hanging out the window yelling at people, stop honking at me. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> oh, my God. 
So I didn't want to stress him out any more than he was. I talked to him on the phone. I'm like, I have to wait for you, man. see the New York license plate? Do you think I don't know where I'm going? <laughs> so needless to say, Rick finally made it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And I had to go the wrong way on a one way to get in there. <laughs> It's like like, a <laughs> yeah, European a, vacation. Big Ben yeah. kid, Parliament. <laughs> yep, Big Ben, yep. Parliament. Oh my God, we. Oh, uh, God, that's we kept going around that circle. We're like you're like, no, you got to get over one more lane. I'm over a lane. No, you got to get over one more lane. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, that, big, that's something we should Parliament. show live. We should show our, our drives live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People be like, what's wrong with you guys? Well, they fall asleep with me at the intersections, though. Because I, I always go so slow. Oh, man. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> All right. To put in perspective how slow Rick went one time, the light turned green. And he was inching forward to go through the intersection, looking both ways on a one-way street to try to see around the cars that were in front. And by the time he decided to go, the light turned red. <laughs> that's, that's when I knew I was in trouble. It's so I said, I said, oh, you don't come from a, a town of 11 people. What are you doing? That's not untrue. <laughs> I said, oh if I bring God. this car back home with a scratch, my <laughs> ass is grass. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. But okay. The, so now again, the, the, the streets are so narrow, and they park on both sides of the oh street. God, really not bad. even to mention that on the wider streets, they park in the middle in the in the medians, yeah. So you have cars yeah, parked on yeah. both sides, and they're parked in the middle. So you're trying to go through an <laughs> intersection, and you're like trying to. Just, I know it's a one way, but I don't, you know, never trust a way. Right. No, no, no. I completely know? understand. I and I'm looking, and, I'm, and you can't see around. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Too funny. Tough, tough Too living. Funny. Tough so living then after that, we packed up. We were going to have dinner at the Mashula. Which is the ship yeah. that Rocky runs by on the docks? Yes, uh, beautiful restaurant looked like, and menu looked fantastic. I don't know. We just weren't really up for it. We're like, eh, maybe we'll do it next year. Maybe we'll see. And then we had we. I don't even know how we found out. Somebody who told us. So, Claudio oh, twenty D. Oh, was it Claudio? Twenty D. I. You know, One of we them. saw so many people. One I just them. remember you saying, you know, so and so said that. It's open, and they open yep. Friday night, and I'm like, well, and you're like, what do you want to go? I'm like, I'd rather go there, to Mighty Mix. So anyway, go ahead with your. I'm sorry if you guys are watching right now. Rick's buffering, so he'll stop. Oh, soon. was I buffering? I'm sorry. I uh, plugged in. Yeah, you you were hesitant in the, in the words. Are you? That's all right. We we heard what you said. Just didn't match okay. your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway so so we went and got, went to mighty mix and uh mighty mix is called lost time and the andrews uh andrews the owners andrew and matt uh the little guy nicholas who's their head of security yep. <laughs> we got uh we got a little tour in there and we got to give them some round 14 t-shirts and they are promoting us like we are promoting them and they have a Mickey's American Lager. Look at this mm -hmm. can. Look, Look at the can. You got the Mickey uh, Mighty Mix building. You got the makeshift statue. And then on the other side, Mickey's American Lager. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was pretty good. I thought oh, it was the beer, good. I thought the beer was amazing. It's I'm not even a beer drinker, and I thought it was good. <laughs> I, uh, I got one for you here, buddy. I couldn't send it with you because we yeah. didn't want you to wind up in the clink. Yeah, I know. It's too big. It's too much liquid to have on a plane, so I couldn't take it with me. Um, yeah, we'll work that out. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, so they're open uh, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon till whatever time they close, midnight, yeah. 1 or whatever. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on down there. There's going to be some more Rocky uh, decor and memorabilia that they're going to hang up. Um so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Now now going to Mickey's is going to be really fun. I mean, because yeah. not only can you go, to, of course, to take a picture and see it, but, you know, it's kind of cool. I know, you know, to sit inside and 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 be there. Uh, well, that's why we're saying it seems like they're trying to fancy up the area a little bit. Right. Well, it was really cool because, you know, we weren't expecting to do that. And 
we went there and we definitely made some new friends, you know, with Matt and Andrew and Nicholas. And there's a third owner, and I'm sorry, forgive me, I cannot remember the, the gentleman's name. I did meet him. And he was actually the brew master who did this. Um, and I told him, spot on, great beer. But yeah. we did absolutely make some new friends there, and uh, we've been talking with them back and forth. Um, yeah, we have some the, things going on. We're going to be sending them a poster that they can put up there. We have some other stuff we're going to be sending them. Uh, we'll be promoting them on the on the Instagram page. We'll be promoting them on this. and You know, a good collaboration. It's good. And they're working with the restaurant across the street. Yeah, Row so House. You can, so you can order food and then bring it back over or whatever and eat it in there and drink. Yeah. Yeah, and you scan. The, uh, they have a QR code on the table, and you scan the QR code however much time you need, and then you go across the street and you get what you got, a little to-go box. Yeah. Bring it over there, sit down and munch away. I mean, uh, Joe got some some Philly pretzels with some mustard and cheese dip or whatever he had there. Yeah. It looked good. I mean, I didn't, I didn't look at the rest of the menu. We already, you know, we had already eaten. Uh, so I didn't look at that, but it was uh, it was good. I think these guys are going to get quite a bit of business because – as you know, and I was telling them, as Rocky fans and Rocky Pierce as you and I are, you know, we've only ever seen the building from the outside, right, right. in the movies. Right. Right. Anything from the inside was filmed on location. In right. They, yeah. Yeah, they just did exteriors there. So Yeah, these are the exteriors. <clears throat> so I said, every, any rock, any really, any true Rocky fan wants to know what that building actually looks like on the inside. <laughs> yeah. And we got to get in there, you know, with others and see it. Which to me is nostalgic, you know. There's no money. I think it's no awesome. I think I remember I told you I think they should do upstairs. They should do a Rocky Museum upstairs, the yeah. second level. The first level yeah. be the bar. Second level be a Rocky Museum. I don't know what the third level is. I'd run the Rocky Museum. I'll bring all my stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could have a Rocky Museum and all that stuff. But yeah, it was very cool. We're looking forward to going back. Um, you know, definitely if you are in the area or you're from Philly, uh, stop in, check it out. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. Right now, I mean, they, it's only the second week they're open, so I'm sure yeah. they're working out some kinks. And like I said, the decor is coming. They plan on doing a lot more uh, decorations and whatnot and, and uh, posters and pictures and stuff. So In lost time, I think they said that that was from Ernest Hemingway. Was it Hemingway? Uh, Benjamin Franklin. What's that? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they... Uh, they uh, said they like the, the, you know, of course they like the quote itself, but they also liked the um, that it was, you know, a Philadelphia, Philadelphia quote. Quote. Um, so you know, pretty cool. Yeah, very nice, very nice. But yeah, it was good. Um, not sure what we're gonna do next year. We're we're looking as of right now. We're looking at going back and and doing Rocky Run again, twenty twenty five. Right. Well, let's not for let's not forget to mention that we, you know, that whole day and night, you know, again, it started at 3 a.m. for us. And it, it just kind of bookended it perfectly because we got to sit down with like, you know, Trish and Vince and Joe, his wife and Claudio and his cousin. And we just had a great time, you know, and we met the guys and, and their families from lost time. And it was just, it worked out just to be be just a great evening, you know. Well, thanks to you. You know, you're the social butterfly of the duo. I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was sitting down talking to nobody. You you got up and, and I know you made I, it happen, so good thing. I got up and I went up to order a beer or something like that. And I'm like, hey, you know, who's the owner? I'd like to talk to the owner. And, and you know, he's like, oh, I'm one of them. I'm like, we need to talk. I said, I'm Rick from round 14. There's my partner over there, Tony, from round 14. There you go. The podcast. And bing a bing a boong The next thing you know, we're taking pictures. We're doing a live interview outside. And, hey, 31 years I worked with politicians and whatnot. No, it was it was fantastic. Like I said, because, I mean, I wouldn't have done it. I mean, so now look where it got, it's getting us. So it was great that you did that. Uh, you know, like I said, you you handle that. I handle the, the videoing. The, yeah. <laughs> the uploading well, and whatnot. I come back to the table with, well, with these, these guys, you're like, well, who the hell are these guys? You just, you just went up alone. <laughs> what are you doing? I said, get uh, your phone. We're going outside. <laughs> We're yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, also, too, we want to apologize for any live videos. I, I was thinking about that when you said go outside. I know a lot of a lot of the live videos did not look the best. I know that they were a little glitchy, a little pixely. So I apologize about that. We uh, we're working on that. So <laughs> you know, yeah, each, each week and each uh, month, each whatever trip, we get better and better. So that's all. Yeah, we we're about. learning. You know, yeah. I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Once we start making the big bucks, we'll have a professional cameraman, and you know, yeah, like we'll that. hire some thirteen-year-old. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly right. But yeah, it was a fantastic trip. I had a great time. We're looking at doing it again next year. Um, we we are on a a like this with doing Rocky Fest or Rocky Run. We're not really sure how Rocky Fest is going to pan out because we're not really sure. See, Rocky Run right the park in front of the steps is where it is that's it i mean it starts at one end goes loops around does whatever comes back finish line is at the bottom of the steps all your tents are there you know where you're gonna go yeah the rocky fest it doesn't seem like they have a main hub where everything is happening at the bottom of the steps you know there seems maybe there is i mean we'll find out you know in two weeks three weeks um Maybe there is. Maybe that the, the bottom of steps are going to be a lot of what's going on, and then and then the the movie marathon, the bus tours, and the all well, that's still happening all week. But in front of the slide shop and the steps is vendors and you know pictures yeah. and whatever. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Well, being just three four weeks apart, you know, maybe you know this one here. We'll talk to that one there and say, hey, let's merge these together and make it a a big booming thing. You know. I, that, we, you and I were talking about that at dinner, where it would have been fantastic if they had Rocky Day on the third, and then the weekend after the third, the last day of Rocky Fest is the Rocky Run. Yeah. Now Absolutely. I don't know the logistics of making that happen. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than you and I are just saying. Oh, we'll put oh, on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, let's yeah, just do, we'll it. do this. <laughs> also, too, you got to keep in mind the first week in December. That's four weeks after the Rocky Run. That could make a huge difference in temperature. Yeah, true. So that may have a lot to do with it too. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm sure I would find it hard to believe we're the first people to think that and say it. They might have already thought it and went to try to work it out. I'm like, eh, it's not going to happen. So well, last year at Rocky Day, it rained, but it, and it rained all day, but it wasn't really cold <laughs> but it wasn't snow <laughs> it wasn't snow so it wasn't cold but at rocky run we were cold rocky run in the morning yeah yeah it was cold in the morning it was definitely yeah. cold it, it was cold almost until we left yeah right right around 11 o'clock or so tw- give or take mm. you know we were if we were on the other side of the street it would have been sunnier we would have been as cold so. right right but those of you that have done it, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure you love doing it and you're going to do it again every year. Um, those of you that have not done it, highly recommend you doing it. It's an awesome experience, a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's it's like the Rocky fan overload. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. It's cool. Definitely yeah. try it if you can. I mean, I know it's not feasible for everybody. I get it. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also, too, I emailed uh, yesterday and asked about the virtual run. Because some people were asking about the virtual run. Right. There's not going to be a virtual run next year. So it looks like they finally nixed the virtual run. This year there was no virtual. And next year there's not going to be a virtual. So I find it hard to believe that the year after that there will be. Okay. So unfortunately, if you want the shirt and medal, you got to go up to Philly. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. So we'll see. I've been doing it virtual since 18. I mean, so... (laughs) kind of crazy yeah but it was a good time it was good to see everybody that's that we got to see and meet people we got to meet um it it was it was fun i had a great time absolutely absolutely we definitely made a lot of new friends you know um yeah it was just a really good time we had a lot of fun meeting and talking talking about rocky all weekend so how bad could that be yeah right you know (laughs) Uh, so yeah, so we have some more surprises coming up. We have some more guests coming up. We have uh, a lot more in store. Uh, this is a special edition episode that we didn't want to do too late uh, after the Rocky Run, so we figured we would air it 
uh, Friday night at 7. So by the time this is over, you'll be ready for the Tyson-Jake Paul fight, where hopefully Mike knocks this YouTuber on his butt and enough of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a clown, man. I really do wish somebody would just – like, you're handpicking your opponents. You're not working your way up through the ranks. You know, you're, you're just – I mean, don't get me wrong. He's making a ton of money. But I don't know. Well, that's what it's all about now. Well, yeah. I mean, I get that. I mean, look, I'm not going to sit here and criticize. If I had the same opportunities to make that kind of money by fighting technically has-beens. But this is more like a an exhibition. There's no there's no title. No, this is sanctioned. no there's no title, but it's a sanctioned fight. It's a real fight. It's going to go on Tyson's record. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Okay. But there's no belt or anything involved, no. Okay. That's the thing. That's why it's like, okay, if you did all this and you want to be serious about boxing, stop the, you know, dog and pony boxing matches. Mm -hmm. Go start fighting some people to work your way up and see if you get ranked and get, you know, get to be the top ranked contender. And then you go after the title. Yeah. yeah and true. he won't do that because he'd probably get knocked on his ass a hundred times. And well, there's some good know. fighters out there. God, yeah. Like, fight. look, a pro fighter, I, look. If you know how to fight and you were taught how to fight, that's wonderful. That was me. I went to the boxing academy. I learned how to box. I learned how to protect myself. Anything was to happen. I wasn't there very long. I was there like three months, whatever it was. I didn't even have any bouts. I had, you know, sparring matches. And it was also, you know, 40 years ago. Sure. Guys that they've been doing this since they were 12. Oh, yeah. You know, and they just, you know, turn their hip and give that little snap. I mean, yeah, you you have no clue. I, I don't have a clue. I'm not saying like I do. And no. I was hit by I was hit by guys that never probably did, did anything. You know, so it's crazy. Yeah, you well, know, I agree. Gonna, he's gonna learn real quick. Yeah, I agree. So tomorrow night at eight, if you have Netflix, check it out. Hopefully, Mike. Uh, I think Mike's got his little old Mike back. I mean, he's he's not goofing yeah. around a lot. Every time they talk to him, he's like very, very just solemn and sincere. And yeah, he's not laughing. He's not too goofing around. Yeah, he put some work in. He definitely yeah. put some work in. So, all right, brother. Well, until next week, everybody. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next week. Take care. Thanks for joining. <laughs>